All right, guys, welcome back. Um, in this video, we'll be talking about object and array destructuring and the spread operator. Okay, so these are very simple concepts, but very powerful. So remember that what we do when we want to um, assign an array to a variable is something like this. So we say let um, scores, for instance, equals 200, 400, 500. Okay, and this would be um, how you assign values to variables. But when you want to destructure, you invert. All right. So what you do is you say that I have a scores variable, but I want to get some part of its values. All right. So you could do like this. Okay. So the first item I want to get, I want to call it um, first score. The second, I'm going to call it second score. The third, I'm going to call it third score. All right. So what I've simply done is we have created three new variables, three new variables from this. All right. So let me move to my next keyword here. Okay. So I've created three new variables from this array, this cause array. This is called destructuring. So this is like um, structuring, like constructing the array, but this is like destructuring and breaking it apart to form distinct values. All right. So what I'll do here is I'll say console the log first score, and you see the first score is 200, which corresponds with this score here. All right. If I say second score, you see second score should be 400, and then third score should be 500. Okay. So this is the concept of destructuring of an array. So you are not necessarily compelled to get all of them out, right? We could simply just account for the first score. So we destructure to get the first score out of it. And if I save, you see that the first score is printed, the console is 200. But we could just simply say second score like this. It wouldn't work. It's still, it will still give us the first score, right? Which is 200. If we want the second score, we have to define the first, so first score and then comma second score you have to follow in that order so like this we'll get the second score okay and then we could get the third if we want to all right so what if we want to get just the first and then from the second to the rest from the second to the rest we want to store them in one variable what we'll do is using the rest operator so you just use three dots or ellipses in front of whatever variable name you want to give you can call it anything you can call it rest all right anything you want to and then what will happen is first, the first value is going to be stored in first score. So you see, we have the first value. And the rest of them is going to be stored in this rest variable. So if I print out rest, you see that we have 400 and 500. Remember, this could be any name. We'll call it others. Okay. And then, sorry, we have to get others here. Okay. So you see others printed. All right. This is called the rest operator. All right. This is called the rest operator. How it looks very close to the spread operator. So, but we'll get to, we'll get to that when we start talking about the spread operator. So, this is array destructuring. This is just all that you need to know for now about array destructuring. What about object destructuring? So, if this were to be an object, remember that arrays are. Before we move forward, remember that arrays are um, indexed automatically. They don't have keys that you could use to access them. All right. So, because of that, we were given the freedom to rename the variables the way we want to access it. All right. So that's why we could say first call and the first guy will be stored in first call. And we could say second, third, or we could do rest. And we had the liberty to rename. But for objects, since objects already have keys, we can easily just um, just state the key that we want to destructure out of the object. So let's say this is calls and it's an object that has user one, 500, user two, 400, and user three, 800. And we want to discuss the destructure scores. So what we do is instead of the array, square brackets we use the object square brackets right this is object destructuring not array destructuring all right and we could do for instance user one save and you see that we get we get for rest you see we're getting the rest the rest of them is stored in others so the rest operator is still valid for object so we're printing this but if we want to print user one you see that we have user one 500 all right you couldn't call this anything you want at this point all right if we say user zero and try to print out user zero would have nothing printed to the console undefined because there's nothing like that in the object so for object destructuring you have to use a key that exists in the object so that's why user one would work all right if i so i have to console log user one and it works all right user two would work okay that's 400 for user two and so on and so for user three would work too okay so this is object destructuring all right and we talked about the rest operator all right so rest still works and for rest, you can name it the way you want. You have liberty to name it the way you want. The other members or the rest members, apart from the ones that you um, explicitly de declare here, 
the other ones are going to be put together and to form a new object that will be stored in these others all right so that's the power of the rest rest operator so you see we have a new object that has the rest of the values that exist in this cause object but were not um, explicitly mentioned in the destructuring all right so that is for um destructuring and then how we could use the rest operator all right so now the spread operator how do we use the spread operator so the spread and the rest operator looks the same but i would explain it how would i explain it so i would just say that you use the rest operator during destructuring all right you use the rest operator during destructuring and you use the spread operator to um, access the values in an array or an object so you spread them you can spread them right and, and this will make sense when i show you practically so let's say we have the um, new scores is our um our um, variable right but we want a variable that is an exact copy of scores all right exact copy of scores so we want this same thing here all right we know that because um reference types are passed by reference we could have done scores like this and if we print scores and new scores we see that the values look the same all right this is for one of them and this is for the other and this is for the other all right the values look the same all right but behind the scene they are actually the same values behind the scene they're actually the same values all right if you do equal to triple equals you're going to see that it returns true behind the scene they are the same values this is a reference to this all right so um why would this be a problem this should be a good thing but why would it be a problem the problem is if we intend to change the score of user one in new scores object by doing new scores dot user one equals five thousand what will happen is that the scores of the user one in this cause or the score of the user one in this cause object is going to be affected but notice what we're doing is new scores dot user one so why is it affecting this um variable it is because what we did here was to assign a reference to this to this variable okay, so anything you do to this variable affects this guy so let's let's print and see if we're actually correct so i want to do comma here and change you see that the first variable which is scores now has user one as 5000 even if that's not what we intended we intend to change just the scores for um new scores all right the score for the user one under new scores so what would we have done so what we would have done here is simply to spread so we enclose this object this object variable we enclose it in curly braces and then we use the ellipses and save all right if we go back to our console we would see that the first user still the first user one underscores see still maintains the score of 500 while user two now has 5000 so user one under um, new scores now has 5000 so what we did with the new scores object doesn't affect this all right so to create copies of arrays or objects we use the spread operator so this will simply take the values in this object and spread it across to create a new object so that's why it's called spread all right so spreading should now make sense to you so this is the same for arrays so we want to create a new array so this was 200 300 400 500 i want to create a new scores we'll now use instead of the curly braces we use um, square brackets and we spread all right so we could now do new scores all right dot push 500 and you see that sorry 5000 and you see that it doesn't affect the original array the original array ends at 500 the new one ends at 5000 all right so this is how one way that you can copy um, values from one object or array and spread them into a new um, object or array so the concepts that we have learned so far can be mixed and matched all right to create the desired outcome that we want all right if we take the spread and the rest operator and the destructuring syntax and create amazing applications all right so we're teaching them now in isolation but the time will come when we use them to solve real world problems all right but it's very important that you understand what is going on so i would always say for further reading go to mdn docs or javascript info okay or visit my blog i've written about some of these um, concepts in my blog and it could be really helpful all right link to my blog is on the back end channel on slack okay so thank you so much guys for your time i'll see you in the next class